this is Ms. Wiles, and in this video we'll be um, creating or writing an equation based on a linear uh, graph. And we, at this point, should be familiar with the y equals mx plus b, the slope-intercept form of an, a linear equation where m is the slope and b is specifically the y-intercept. Now, at this point, you should have already practice graphing an equation from its uh, equation, graphing that line from the equation, where you would first graph the y-intercept as a point on the uh, coordinate plane of zero and whatever that y-intercept is, and then move based on the slope of up or down and left or right to graph another point on the um, on the line. Today in this video we'll be looking at lines that are already graphed and coming up with the equation. So in the same way you want to find those two points on the graph. One of those points needs to be the y-intercept. So you look for that y-intercept and that's going to tell you what the plus b part of the equation is going to be. So you know you're going to have y equals something x and then something here. Now the something here is going to be the y-intercept. So you look at where the line crosses the y-axis and that's at negative 7. So you'll put minus 7 here. And then you find some other point on the graph. It can be any other point on the graph that you can actually identify. So I could pick this point, or this point, or this point, or this point. I could go back here and pick this point, or this point. I want to pick any one point that crosses like an intersection of the coordinate grid. It crosses right there at the corner. And any one of those points, then I want to count or do a rise over run, I could do rise over run, which is 1 over 2, and use that as my slope. Or I could take those two points, like maybe I take the 0, negative 7 that we have, and the 2, negative 6 that's marked here, and I would do negative 7 minus negative 6 over 0 minus 2, and I would get that same slope of one half. So whatever method you want to use to find the slope, you can find that slope. Let's pause for a couple minutes here while you try the next two problems, and then we'll come back into the video and go over what you should have gotten. Welcome back, and after your analysis of these graphs on the second one, you should have found the y-intercept to be negative 40. So you would have minus 40 here for the y-intercept. And you have y equals, we need to find the slope. So we can take some other point on the line, and I don't see one until we get up here. I like to look for the first one. And so then I'm going to count up, and it looks like I'm going from negative 40 up to 20. It looks like we're counting by 10s here, so I go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And then across for that run, looks like we're going to 10. And then 60 over 10 equals 6 for a slope of 6. And then the format of our equation is 6x minus 40. The third equation, it looks like, first of all, I notice that we have a negative slope. So I'm going to have y equals negative something. And it looks like my y-intercept is negative 9. So I'm going to have a minus 9 here. And now I need to find the slope. And I see another point on the line here. So I'm going to use this point. It looks like my rise is 1. And my run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So negative 1, 6, x minus 9. All right, if you did well on those, then let's go to the last two and do those two. We'll pause the video here for you to have time to do those. All right, and for these last two examples, 
you should have gotten, well, we'll just, we know we have y equals something x and then something. Um, we have a slope or a y-intercept of negative 7. And then when we look at what's happening with the slope, we can choose any other point. I'm going to choose this one because it's the one closest to it. And it looks like I'm going up 3 and over 1. But I can tell that this slope is negative, so I'm going to say that it's negative 3 for the slope, negative 3x minus 7. You might have started out with 6 over 2 or 3 over 1, knowing that they're negative because this is a negative slope, and then you have to reduce, always reduce. For this very last one, we have a y-intercept of negative 3. And we find another point on the line. This looks like a good point. Again, we see that this is a negative slope. And we count up 3 and over 3. So 3 over 3, and it being negative, is going to give us a slope of negative 1. And we can just say that's negative x minus 3. It is not wrong to say it's negative 1x minus 3, but you'll usually see it as negative x because we don't put that coefficient of 1 to indicate that value. Well, that's um, writing a equation of a linear function in slope-intercept form. And that's all I have to say about that.